mean, the amount on the, in this market is, you see, it's dangerous for me. I can never stop. And I can see over there, I can see those beautiful red cabbages. I tend at this time of year often to do a red cabbage because my mother always did, and I suppose we follow our traditions, but also because red cabbage is not cooked like regular cabbage in that it's braised, it's stewed, and I add apple and onion, and I cook in either cranberry juice or pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice is fantastic, and the colours of the red cabbage at the end of it. It's like plums when, or grapes when you get that bloom, that sort of matte grey-blue bloom on the dark red leaves. And the trick to this, I think, is really when you cook them, you add something acidic and that keeps the colour really intense. If you have any leftover turkey, um, it makes a great, make either a pilaf or a salad with brown basmati rice, some dill at the, the leaves, the fronds, not the seed, although you could use the seed. And I buy a jar of those seeds, which are you know, pumpkin and sesame and uh, sunflower mixed and then I just squeeze with lemon juice and a teeny bit of oil and at the last minute so that you keep the, the colours separate, you don't want everything pink, I add some pomegranate seeds and it kind of gives a sort of juiciness and I suppose it gives it a kind of a, an Eastern Mediterranean flavour which can be quite nice to go different because you know, it, it makes your leftover turkey feel new again. For me, I mean, I do a lot of cocktails over the holidays, but the one I do most when I'm entertaining and have a lot of people, because I can make a nice big picture of it, is my poinsettia. Well, the name is, you know, shows it seasonal. And what gives it its redness is cranberry juice. So with this cranberry juice, I add fizzy wine and an orange liqueur, whether it's triple sec or marnier, Pancho, it doesn't matter. And it makes such a fantastic sort of festive fizz.